operating system, and configuration file location. When you turn on the power, you'll see information scrolling down your terminal screen almost immediately. It is a good idea to watch this information because important messages can be seen here if failures occur during boot. The iOS startup process is actually more complex than it appears. Let's look at the procedure in more detail. The default behavior for a router or switch is as follows. First, the post runs. Next, assuming that there are no critical errors with the post, the bootstrap checks the startup config file in NVRAM for boot system commands. These commands might have been entered by the router admin to override the default behavior, perhaps to load a different iOS for test purposes. Then, assuming there are no boot system commands, the router loads the first valid iOS image it finds in the flash memory. If there is no usable iOS in flash, the router will begin broadcasting for a TFTP server in the hopes of finding an iOS image it can download and use. Cisco has programmed several pre-configured file names if you want to set up such a system. Then, if no TFTP server can be contacted or if no valid iOS is found on one, the router will load the RX boot mini iOS. This iOS has a familiar command set and some of the features of a full iOS. The main purpose of RX boot is to allow you to manually connect to a TFTP server to download a valid iOS to Flash. In the unlikely event that RX boot fails, the router will load the ROM monitor, ROM mon. ROM mon can also connect to a TFTP server, but if your router has dropped into ROM mon all by itself, chances are that you have a pretty serious problem. ROM mon command prompts vary with the hardware type. After an iOS is loaded, except for ROM mon, the router looks for the startup config file in NVRAM. If it is found, it is copied to RAM and renamed running config. If there is no startup config file in the NVRAM, the router will broadcast for a TFTP server to see if there is a configuration file available for it. If that fails, the router will launch setup mode. Note that on most devices, the iOS image is decompressed and copied to RAM to run from there. Similarly, the startup config file is copied from NVRAM and renamed running config as it is copied into RAM.